there are no jobs here. The government has said it has no jobs. Kenyans get passport, go out of the country. They have made the cost of a passport beyond reach of a citizen. We have very many issues within that uh, petition. Mothers who are Kenyans who give birth outside this country, bringing that kid to this country, which below where the kid is a citizen, is going to be very expensive. How will those kids who are Kenyans born outside the Republic of Kenya, is it now that we are saying, let us chase them away from coming into the country? That is a very, very critical issue that the state needs to, to look at. In some total, Article 10 of the Constitution, demands for public participation. Article 10 of the Constitution demands for transparency. Article 10 of the Constitution demands involvement of the public. Article 1 of the Constitution, which gives Bikeri the power, says we the people must be consulted. The government never consulted we the people. So we the people have come to court to seek redress. Under Article 47 of the Constitution, which talks of fair administrative action, the cabinet secretaries have failed the test of a fair administrative action because that action is completely irrational. That action of extending taxation beyond reach of the ordinary citizens is a question that Kenyans want to know. We will not relent by sideshows of planting trees. We will demand affordable services by government. A fundamental question that we have raised in that petition is that raising amount of the amount you charge government services is an aspect of taxation. What profit do people who are marrying each other make so that government taxes them? What profit does a mother and a father who have a child, what profit do, do they make for government to raise the cost of a birth certificate so that they are making any profit? So let government focus on taxation on businesses, but on government services, who do my services, who do my services, the Hansard record says Huduma was supposed to be provided for free. Now, if every Huduma service is being put beyond reach, we'll not agree. Finally, our application which was filed on Friday because of the long days, the judge has directed that there is another matter similar to our petition, which the judge ordered and suspended the Gazette notice. Most likely, by the, by the 29th, we might find more than a million applications being filed in court to challenge those Gazette notice. So the judge has said, those orders that were issued apply to our petition. We appear before the court on the 29th so that we urge to every Kenyan to be alert on the 29th so that we prosecute this matter on behalf of the Kenyan people who are the greatest patriots of this uh, nation. We will not defend what is undefendable. We will defend what is defendable. This is absolute robbery without violence from the citizens of this country. So.